Hot 97 hanging out with Nessa and I got my girl, Seven. Hi, Hi Ness. Man, I'm so proud of you. This feels like family right now. I'm so <laughs> excited. God, I mean, I cannot stop talking about you. I'm so Aww, excited. Thank you. This is home right here. It is. It's home. I mean, especially for you and I. I mean, yeah. you, you were in the studio when I first started working with Chris. Which is crazy yeah. how time flies. <laughs> it is crazy. I remember you in there yep. working mm -hmm. hard. And Chris was like, Ness, you got to check her out. This, and he kept bragging about you. <laughs> and I was like, really? This is how it is. And then Tina, and, you know, she's one of my dear friends. She's she was mm -hmm. like, oh, seven's a real deal. Like, this is it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So to hear that from people that I truly respect was like everything. Oh, you know man. what I mean? We so, go way back. Way, 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 way back. So yeah. now is that <laughs> pressure? Because um, you are part of Chris Brown, you know, protege. And obviously Tina having been the one who found him. Right. And he's so successful. Right. Do you feel like, damn, I got to live up to that. I can't let anybody down. Um, no, um, no, I don't, <laughs> because they don't make me feel like that. And at the end of the day, we just, it's just music. And I love what I do, and um, they don't put that type of pressure on me. That's great. Like, they let me be creative and, you know, throw it against the wall. If it sticks and it's great, then we good, let's rock. And yeah. then if it's not, okay, we just start over. It's yeah. not that big of a deal, so no. What is Seven? Where does this come from, the name? Seven Streeter. Seven, um, well, Streeter is my real last name. I okay. can't really take credit for that. Um, Mom, thank dad you, Daddy. Thinks, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's my real last name. Um, but um, seven is my birthday. My birthday is seven seven. It's July seventh, and seven biblically means perfection and completion. And I changed my name in two thousand seven because I just felt like every single thing that I prayed for, God gave me, and I felt spiritually completed. And on top of that, I'm a super duper perfectionist. Like especially when it comes to like work. It's like, it's low key obsessive and it gets on my own nerves. Oh gosh, are you one of them? Yeah, I kind of am. I'm like, okay, let me get that one more time. Okay, one more time. I love okay, last time. It, yeah. Okay, last time. And last time is never the last time. So it's kind of bad. You have your new song, Don't Kill the Fun. Yes, I do. With Chris Brown. So how does that work? You just make one phone call. You're like, Chris, I need you on this record. Or is it like, you know what? I think he'd be good on this. Let me send it over. How does this all happen? Well, I mean, you know, we create the records and things like that. And But Don't Kill the Fun, he heard the song and played it for him at the studio. Because I play all of my records for Chris because I, you know, I want to know his opinion. He's my mentor and he'll give me his honest, honest, honest opinion. Yeah. And he heard Don't Kill the Fun and he loved it and he ended up getting on it. So, you know, I was happy, you know. And you are a very well-established songwriter. Just for Thank people you. to understand, you're not just some newbie who's like, oh, trying to figure it out. Yeah, thanks. You've written hit songs. Can you tell us <laughs> something? Um, Yeah, I've actually had the pleasure of writing The Way for Ariana Grande. Uh, the record that put her on the map. <laughs> thanks, Let man. me give you that credit. Thank yes, you, Yes, which is huge. Thanks. Thanks, it thanks, almost thanks. it basically brought back a format, you know, when it comes mm. to rhythm world and radio and stuff like that. And that was that's a big record. Thank you. I have your name on it. That uh, that paycheck must be nice. You know, it's nice. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. No. <laughs> no, that was a, it was it was just really dope to you know. I wrote the record um, with a friend of mine named A Rod, and we wrote it for a whole other artist. So the way it came about when I heard, oh, so Ariana Grande is cutting the record. And I heard a version of it. I loved it. And the rest is history. So that was really dope. And then I wrote Fine China for Chris. And yeah. I wrote Strip and um, All the Way Home for Tamar Braxton. And, you know, a couple other records. So, you know, it's, it's been good. Writing has been good. What do you like more? You, you going to make me pick a favorite? You song? have to. Come on now, Ness. Look, um, if you had to survive off one income, <laughs> this is it. Would you rather be a songwriter or would you like to be the artist uh, that does a, not get to songwrite? Oh, oh, that I'm is making it torture. easy. Okay, I would be, I would be an artist. Yes, but I would find other creative <laughs> ways. <laughs> I would find other creative ways to like get my creative juices out. So I'll probably be painting on billboards or creating some type of pottery or yes. um, writing books <laughs> or something. But I would find other ways. I can't keep all this stuff up here. You know, yeah. do you know how crazy that'll drive me? I'm yeah. already a little, uh, you know, so I know I need to be able to write. That's okay. important. You got to let you it out. To hit me up real quick now. Hey, I was just trying to see. It's there it is therapeutic. Yeah. Listen here, writing and got me through a couple of things. I'm just saying, a couple of breakups, a couple of situations. So, um, yeah, I need that, okay? 
So you're also on a soundtrack right now. Fast and the Furious soundtrack. You have a song on there. Yeah, I'm on the Fast and Furious soundtrack. And the song is called How Bad Do You Want It? Oh. Yeah. How bad do you want how bad do you want it, Ness? I want it bad. <laughs> I won't lie. I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> how long did it take for you to fall in love? A long um, time, yes. Man, whoa, Ness, See? you just gonna throw the L word at me like this. You're Sheesh. in love, though, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope you're in love. It's new. We're taking it a day okay, at a time. Not in love yet. Whoa, we're not in put love the yet. brakes on. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're not in love yet. <laughs> I am in like. I think love is. No, I'm serious. I'm just being real. Like, lo- like love that. is a very, t- you know. I don't, I've never been, I don't just throw that word around. Right, and I don't sure. think people should just throw that word around like that. Um, but to be in like with somebody is, I think it's just, it's still really, really amazing. It's intense. Yeah. It's still, it's still amazing. It's still special. It's still dope. We have to talk about this. How okay. did you and Bob get together? How did this even we make it? We have been friends for a very long time. Okay. Like, I mean, the thing is people, I mean, they're making a big deal out of it, but I think that's just because for a lot of you know, people who don't know us, it's like, right. ooh, like, oh, my God, they're spending time together. They're dating or whatever. But people who know us are not surprised at all. Like, they're just not. So if, if ever I've, you know, been in Atlanta, I just kick it with Bob. You yeah. know, we have shows together. We, Yeah, we've been friends for forever. And, you know, That's it awesome. just gradually just, you know, so wait, step who, in the right direction, I guess. Who liked first? Because you guys were friends. People ask that question. Who liked who, who first? Who made the move first? I don't think it's really about a move, even though I will say he... I, <laughs> I found a picture the other day, um, and I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, this is like the first day that we met. And he has this thing, like, he remembers, like, everything, and all the way down to what I was wearing. And Oh, my god! Yeah, like, so he's really good with things like that. And, yeah, he... Mm, he was checking. I'm putting it out there. He definitely was checking first. <laughs> he definitely gave me the googly eyes when I said, hi, I'm Seven Streeter. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, them glasses came off real quick. Oh, yeah. He had to show that respect. Nice like- to meet you, too. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he definitely gave me the, yeah, this is going to be a nice little friendship eyes. Yeah. When you guys first got together, but you guys obviously have been friends for a long time, was he ever insecure? Was he like, yo, did you ever mess with Chris? Like, is he one of those guys? No, and that's the thing that um I think that I really... I really like I one of the things I love about him. Yeah. Is is that like Bob is very secure in in who Bob is and and I don't we don't have to we don't do that and I appreciate that so much now cuz I've been in situations in the past with some insecure, you know, mm, yeah. I'm not going to have to go there but like and that is no fun. I don't need you like looking over my shoulder, wondering if, you know, I talked to this one or that one. No, I'm working. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you should understand because, you know, you You're should get it. You're supposed to be working, too. You're supposed to be working, too. And, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've just, I've definitely dealt with that before. We work really, really well together. Um, That's great. Are we going to yeah. hear something, anything? Uh, it's possible. You just got to wait and see. You just got to keep don't know. following it. You just got to keep following it. <laughs> but, um, no, he... um. We, we we write really well together, like really, really well, well together because we're both a little little weirdo. We're like half, like half country, half weirdo, half hippie, half. Co- it's just like we just fuse it all in there together, but it's really dope. Yeah. Who else do you want to work with? Ooh, um, Beyonce and Usher, those two. I, I say that all the time um, just because I've been a fan of theirs for ever all my life i've loved the two of them so beyonce and usher for sure i feel like that could happen i feel like there's hey tina Rick, come <laughs> on make this call happen like i mean has this have you even put it out there um i mean i say it all, all the, the time. time okay um and you know i i've obviously I, i've met you know both of them before and it'll happen you know when it's supposed to happen i'm, I'm a big believer in that so the album you yes. still don't have a date on the verge, correct? On the verge, okay. yes. On the verge will be out this summer. I'm super 
excited about that. I got a lot of dope features. Obviously, Chris is on the album. Yeah. Ty Dolla Sign is on the album um, on a song called Fallen. August Alsina is on the album on a song called Been a Minute. And I got, I got a couple. All, like, all the guys that every girl wants to sleep with on the album. You know what? So, get ladies, it. you should just get the get album. Get the man. album. Get the album and, you know, yeah, that whole thing. And then I have a couple other surprises on the album that I can't speak of. But guys you just or girls? Like, Give us something. <gasps> Maybe a little bit of both. And, you know, I have records on there like Fight For Me, for example. Fight For Me was a tough song for me to write, but it's it's the truth. You know what I mean? It's about my ex. And it's about the last relationship that I was in. And just being with someone who you felt like, you know, just did not put you first and didn't go hard for you when you went hard for them in whatever way you possibly could and you were there. So, you know, I wrote a song about it. And the song is called Fight For Me. And... So when your ex hears this, yeah, what's he going to do? Is he going to call you? Has he called you with all your successes? Is he like, hey, you know what? I always believed in you. Well, for <laughs> one, um, I deleted his number and his name <laughs> out of my phone. Yes. So um, if he calls me, um, probably not going to pick that up. I have seen him out and about and he's tried to speak to me and i oh i embarrassed him like some crazy in public i did well you just ignored him no he came up to me and tried to speak and had his arms out and i gave him the look of death and literally like took his whole body and sw like swished it out of my face and he just stood there stupid and then he had the nerve to text my mama afterwards who does that like seriously who does that can i cuss out here yes that's some bitch ass nigga shit what? What did he? What did he tell your mom? He was mom? like, "I can't believe that she embarrassed me at a public function." Nigga, you damn right I embarrassed you. On my face, like I have nothing to say to you ever again in life. What did your mom say? My mom didn't respond. Good. Like, Cause what am I? I mean, what What's did you expect did, for her yeah. to do? Like, be like, "Oh my God, you're so right. I'm gonna talk to her when she get." <laughs> Come on now, you know Karen. <laughs> Seriously. So yeah. Wow. But I write about things like that. You know what I mean? Like, which makes us really appreciate you. Cause, Cause I'm real. not the it's only painful, person going man. through that. Yeah. Like you go through that and it's not just women. Men go through that too. Like men, y'all, you know, ran across a woman who did not appreciate you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it goes both ways. So it's just like, what's bad for your heart is, you know, it's good for your art. And I'm gonna write a song about it. So, you know, try me again. I'm gonna write a whole, I listen here. <laughs> My pen never stops. <laughs> and I feel sorry for anybody who get in my way because I'm going to write a song about you too. Listen, Bob. <clears throat> <laughs> no. Don't mess up. Bob don't have, Bob ain't got no worries, okay? Yeah. No. Bob don't have nothing to worry about. Only because this is the first time and not, not really the first time, but I think it was done right this time. You know what I mean? We, like I said, we've been friends for so many years and it gradually... It it gradually happened so much so to where we don't know where it started and where it began because it's just like, oh, I'm in Atlanta. Oh, well, that's cool. You want to go to dinner? That's cool. Let's hang out. Let's, and it's just like it was gradual. And, it, you know, so it's not. Nah, and it didn't feel good. weird because a lot of times when we put someone so in the friend zone, no, it's but hard the thing to cross is, out. It wasn't necessarily like putting him in a friend zone. He was just my friend yeah you know I mean you have some guys we do friend we straight friend zone some guys right, you know what right. i mean but it wasn't like a oh he's in my friend zone no he was just my friend and he's yeah. he's still my friend he's just my friend i get to kiss every now and then so that's cool you're not just kissing no we're not not at all you guys aren't using protection i could see it in your eyes whoa <laughs> absolutely we are using protection you have to use protection <laughs> You have to if you're not in a serious relationship nah, and there's no form I mean, of birth control. Nah, you listen here. Protection, listen here, um, people out there in yeah, TV lives. For the masses. Use protection, okay? Absolutely. And yes, all of that. All, any kind of protection you can use that is very important. He, I just can't imagine. If I was your boyfriend, I would be trying to do it to you. I mean, with no protection. But this is the, you have, I'm not going to lie, you have times where it's like a little slip up and yeah. you'd be like, okay, well, we just, it's going to go down. But no. But the majority but of no, the time. But no, you have to use protection. You have I'm to all use for something. that. I got way too much to do in my life. I'm not trying to, um, you, you know, you, look up and yeah. see that. No, no baby. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Don't come back in no a year time. and have a baby in here. Nah, listen here. I got way too much. That's why I said it's awesome to have someone who 
They let their light shine. I let my light shine. I have my goals and my things that I'm going after. And the two do not interfere with one another unless what we're working he's together. What if so in love with you in a year? And he's like, look, babe, I, I want to get engaged. I want to get you pregnant. Now, she putting like a hundred on like a hundred right now, okay? Like a hundred on a hundred on a hundred. Um, no. You'd still be like, No, that's not, that's not in, in the cards for me right now. I got, yeah. like I said, I have way too much that I want to do. Were you the one who took the picture of his eggplant Friday? Oh, my God. Were you? <laughs> oh! Because there better not be some other woman in there. I'll, oh! I'll make a call we'll resolve this situation tell me it's you so i don't snap on him wouldn't you like to know ness i would because i need to know there was no other woman in there oh wouldn't you like to know ness i'm gonna keep that one in my back pocket okay i mean listen here whatever it was it needed to have a lot of you know capacity to make sure they got the you know and the, the picture had to because it was a lot it was a lot going on in the picture listen I'm not going to lie. I felt weird afterwards because then I knew you guys were together. And I was like, wait it's a minute. It's okay, I Ness. I can't look again. Guess, I won't guess look what? again. Seven don't kill the fun. It is a nice picture. So if it's, you find yourself at home at night sometimes, then you need it. to you nope. need to look at the picture, you know, just again. Yeah. You're my sister. I can't look at it's it okay. anymore. It's just a picture. It's just a picture. I got the real thing. You know, it's just a picture. <laughs> <laughs>